Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, the Wolfpack family lost one of our own this past weekend as our head coach, Kay Yao, passed away. She is and always will be the face of NC State, the university she loved with all of her heart. If you only know her basketball record, which speaks for itself, you know very little about her. She had a drive and passion for people. She was a teacher, but not only on the hardwood. She was a gentle spirit, yet a fierce competitor. She had a servant's heart with a desire to serve and give back, but was a leader of leaders. She could motivate, create enthusiasm, was extremely creative, and had the heart of an angel. Her family was NC State. Others in the athletic department and across campus, the Wolfpack Club, the fans, the cheerleaders, pep band, dance team, and of course, Mr. and Ms. Wolf. Her greatest passion was her love for her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and next to that came her love for her players and former players. She loved, respected, protected, and always stood at the ready to go to battle with them and for them, as they still do for her. You may have seen media reports about Coach Yao losing her battle with cancer. They are wrong. Every battle comes to an end, whether you win or lose. If cancer had won in 1987, she would not have coached the USA to a gold medal in the Olympics in 1988. If cancer had won in 1987, she would have only have had 12 seasons at NC State instead of 34. She would have only 348 career wins instead of 737 and she would not have coached a team in the Final Four. Cancer lost the battle long ago, but it tried a second time in 2004. Coach Yao's response? Five more seasons, a trip to the Sweet 16, an ESPY award, creating hoops for hope, and establishing another legacy with the K. Yao WBCA Cancer Fund. She won more basketball games after her initial diagnosis of breast cancer than she did before. Not because of the cancer, but despite it. We are so fortunate to have had her as one of ours. She is NC State's own Coach K. Yao.